Okay, we're now going to look at finding the area of a triangle using sine. Um, if you're looking for just normal area of a triangle, look at the video called Area of a Triangle. Uh, only look at this video if you're doing GCSE higher, as this is a grade A topic, okay? So, uh, we've got a triangle here, and we have labelled the sides, little a, little b, and little c. And as you should know, the angles opposite the sides are called capital A. The one opposite little b is capital B, and the one opposite little c is called capital C. Okay, The area of a triangle, using sine, is a half A, little a, B, sine, big C. Okay, And what this is saying is you multiply A and B together and half it, and multiply by the sine of the angle C. So if you have this side and this side and the angle in between it are enclosed by it, you can times them together, half it, and multiply by the sine of C. Or you know you can multiply times by the sine of C and then half it, you can half it at any time really. Okay? So you multiply the times by sine of C and half it. Um, it would also work if you had A, C and B. Okay, all you need is two sides and the angle in between it. So I've chosen A B and the sine of C. You could do A times C um, times by the sine of B and half it, or you could do B times C uh, times the sine of A and then half it. Okay, so you just need whenever you're finding there of a triangle using a sine, you need two sides and the angle enclosed by two sides. So it could be these two, and the angle enclosed, it could be uh, these two sides and the angle enclosed, or it could be these two sides and the angle enclosed. Let's look at an example. Okay, let's take an example. We've got a triangle, one side is 12 centimetres, one side is 11 centimetres, and the angle enclosed between those two sides is 30 degrees. That means we can use the formula a half A B sine C. And this will allow us to work out the area of this triangle. So it's going to be a half A times B, so that's a half of 11 times 12, times the sine of C, which is 30. Okay, get your scientific calculator. Um, work out um, a half of 11 times 12, so 11 times 12 times by 0 0.5 equals divided by 2 uh, equals 66. So this is 66, and we're going to times that by the sine of 30. If you're good at trigonometry, or you know your trig quite well, you should know that the sine of 30 is 0 0.5, and you should be able to work out this answer quite easily from here. Um, if you're not, if you don't know that, you just do 66 times the sine of 30. Make sure you, before you do this, you've got a little d at the top of your calculator. So mine has got d. Uh, brackets, and you get 33. So the answer equals 33 centimetres squared. So the area of this triangle is 33 centimetres squared.